Grace and peace family, I'm Dr. Brandon McCray, and welcome to another edition of Wisdom on Wednesday. Today we'll be continuing our series entitled, Me Versus Me. We are examining Matthew chapter 26, verse 36 through 39. What we've already discovered in this battle of me versus me, humanity versus divinity, flesh versus spirit, to win this war, number one, we are pruned. Today I'd like to take you on to the second point. Not only are we pruned and we're pruned by the word of God, but number two, we must pray. I celebrated seven years in pulpit ministry just yesterday. And one thing that I can tell you in the seven years that God has graced me to be able to preach and proclaim his word is that prayer is vital. If you're taking notes, prayer is the secret weapon of the believer. Through prayer, we are able to usher our concerns to God and God gives us answers once we pray. But what I want you to notice in the passage before us is that there are two uh, particular parts of prayer as it relates to Jesus Christ in the Garden of Gethsemane. When we are to examine Matthew's account and you are to examine Luke the physician's account, culminating what you would see is a picture of Jesus in the garden separating from those that had come with him ah, and he ends up on his knees and the pressure and the weight of his assignment is so heavy that ultimately he begins to lay on his face. Jewish scholars and theologians call this the most earnest prayer position. So the picture of Jesus is that that weight is so heavy. The scripture says that sweat dropped off of him as great drops of blood. So number one, when we are in the position of fighting the battle of me versus me, we must pray, but we remember in prayer our posture. How we come to God makes a difference in how we are received by God. Allow me to say that again. How we come to God makes a difference in how we are received by God. Many times we think because we've been saved and we've been in the church and been members and we are pastors, bishops, elders, evangelists, things of that nature, that we have a high standing with God. But if we are going to be the first, we have to become servants of all. So there has to be a level of humility when we come to Christ. We must remember, number one, our posture. Not only are we to remember our posture, but number two, and lastly for our conversation, we must be mindful of his position. Jesus Christ, God the Father, God the Holy Spirit, God as a whole in his Trinitarian form, God is most high. It was he not only that scooped us up out of dirt and blew into us that living nephesh or a living soul, but he slang the moon and the stars in the sky. He made the great expanse and it is to that creator God, El Shaddai, uh, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah M. Kadesh, that God, Elohim, it is to him that we are praying. So we must remember how we come in our posture and we must remember to whom we have come in his position. Allow me to leave you with this thought as we conclude for the day. When our prayer posture is reverent to his position, we become heirs to his power in performance. This has been your boy Brandon McCray, aka B Mac Music. Do three things for me. Like, share, and comment on this post. We want to make something God go viral. And until next time, I want to see your face in the same space for Wisdom on Wednesday. Listen, I'll let you boy.